Live and raw, running and gunning with KG and the Ringmaster. Oh, it's the Digging with KG and Ringy running and gunning podcast show. Coming to you from the prestigious ATC studios in beautiful downtown Burbank, California, where we talk about treasure hunting, metal detecting, and just about everything else. Except for goat roping, corn dogs, llama farms, and unicycles. That's where we draw the line. So without further ado, here are your beloved international superstar television hosts, King George and Ringmaster Tim. All right, Cage, you ready to do this? Buddy, I am ready. It's been, what, three weeks since we had a good old podcast show? Know. It's been so long, I can't remember. I forgot. All right, here we are. Are we on live? Right. I can't even tell. It says we, we are. We are on. We're on live. Yep, yep, yep. Right. I'm just trying to share it around a little bit, not trying to be rude and look away. I am. I'm going to look away right away. <laughs> this is our show, and I'm just going to turn away from it. <laughs> hey, uh, yeah, it's been three weeks, and a lot has happened in three weeks. That's for sure. Thanks for tuning in tonight. It's going to be an incredible show. We got the world-famous miniature man gary pinta treasure diver in the house tonight i mean what what's cooler than that i mean there's a couple things cooler but i can't really say um yeah sorry about that uh, what, were you talking about something no i didn't say nothing <laughs> yeah we do we have some really cool stuff coming up tonight uh you uh the giveaways are going to be incredible because you know gary's on the show so he's always got some awesome stuff to give away cage and that's right yeah we've had so much going on we have so much to cover i can't even believe it obviously we just got back from florida and one of our greatest adventures ever uh yep two in, definite bucket list adventures for me yeah for sure. yeah for sure yeah we we did some incredible stuff uh we got pictures to show you and everything and we're going to try to get uh, through a couple of these things real quick because we want to get Gary in here right away and, Absolutely. and stuff. But uh, uh, we, hey, before you do that, I got to yeah. say that me and the girls got our concealed carry yesterday. So I there. saw so that. Yeah, the world is a safer place now. The world is. is a safer place. It is. Because if some psycho comes in and he's acting psycho, you know, yeah. after my girls run out the back door, maybe I'll take him out <laughs> anyway well, sorry had to say that. you must think about that a lot yeah it's I, a, I actually it's people like you that you want when somebody comes into a to some random store and just goes wild <laughs> you know it's just like oh yes. kg uh i'm over here can i stand next to you can i hide behind you yeah no yeah all right no. yeah hey hey congrats to them and i know that uh after we got back from the um the dive and everything in Florida, you had to go directly to uh, another event in Oklahoma, the Red Dirt. And that Red Dirt dig, yep. yeah. So that you, was hot. Yeah, oh I God, heard it was, it was super hot. Um, uh, I, I don't even, I, I saw one picture from Sean. That's about it. This is all I got. So that's all I know that happened at the Red Dirt shootout. <laughs> that's basically, that's all that happened right there. Yeah. You know how it is when you get around with Sean, you know? Oh, you're he's, have, a, he's a bad a influence. You're going to have a cold brewski in your Right, hand. he's a super Literally, bad influence. He, he went to this pizza joint, and he's like, oh, we got to go to this pizza joint. Because he, he was there a couple of days before us. So we show up at the pizza, pizza joint, and he already had these giant beers sitting on the table. And he had mine sitting on top of one of them little kids' crayon coloring book thing <laughs> so uh, oh he yeah he texted me a couple pictures of that that's yeah, funny yeah, yeah. Oh, that was awesome yeah was awesome. and then uh the only other thing i know about it i know that a ton of people won some garrett stuff and this this happened obviously obviously i wasn't there yeah. so maybe you can talk yeah. about it i don't know were you involved in that oh yeah garrett gave away a ton of stuff a ton of stuff you know and these guys did a pretty good job i mean they're there, you know, there are some issues with tall grass and stuff, but everything I think uh, next year is going to be, you know, I think basically they're going to iron out all the wrinkles and next year is going to be even better. I mean, it was a good hunt. It was hot. It was super, super hot, you know, uh, but um, yeah, everybody communicated well. So next year is going to be uh, thinking bigger and better. 
And then I'm thinking like they're gonna have to get you and I there next year. You know? Oh yeah, yeah. I so maybe that'll bring the audience down with you going. But yeah, that'll you know. keep the attendance down so that maybe we can find some more stuff. Yeah. Right. Exactly. Yeah. No. Awesome. No. So uh, and and the other thing I want to talk about. Uh, I got other stuff. We'll just get to it after we get Gary in here, but I just want to cover one thing. And that is, I just want to thank everybody for sending us stuff. We're going to go through a bunch of our mailbag. We need a little mailbag graphic segment. I'll have to work on that someday. Yeah. Uh, yeah. But yeah, we've been getting a ton of stuff and they, you, you got something personally KG that I have control of now and Maybe I'll give it to you if you're nice to me. Oh, but, yeah, yeah, yeah. Somebody sent a bunch of stuff to Tim, but some of it was meant for me. So <laughs> the, uh, I, the ATC you know, mailing so address. Normally, yeah. I, he, whatever he don't want to hold back and keep himself, sometimes I'll get. Yeah, yeah. yeah no, well, no some, I mean, people are giving us a lot of cool stuff to give away yeah. on this podcast. I mean, some guy gave me a giant silver uh, half-dollar ring, and that's going to be a coming up prize and i'll mention the guy and we'll show his card and stuff i got a i got a camouflage uh camouflage um metal detecting shaft for my machine so you'll be nice. jealous when you see that one too but yeah you get all, all the right. good stuff you got the pouch i don't have a pouch like one of those new awesome ones yeah, yeah I don't get anything. Too, Nobody. Sergeant Whitey took mine by accident. Yeah, I, I saw that then. too. He not only does he have bad influence with you know forcing you to drink giant beers, he's also like someone that steals something. So yeah, never trust him around pouch. anything. Don't leave your stuff yeah. laying around. He'll take it. Yeah, <laughs> probably because he was you know used to be with Whites or something. You know. Yeah. Yeah, but he's with us now because Whites is with us. So yeah, it's right all on. Good. We love we love the Sarge. So anyway, let's get to the show. Let's bring uh, in our Yeah, let's awesome get Gary man. out of there. He's just, you know, in the green He's room. Chomping at the bit. A couple of girls in there with him, but you know, yeah, we figured yeah. here, let's let's well, bring him in here. Give him, so him, if we him can be do sore, this. give him little shoulder massages and foot yeah. rubs and stuff. See if we can get him in here. All right, I can see him. I gotta readjust hey, everything. Can you hear here. us? What's up, guys? Can you hear me? He I hear you, buddy. I hear you. You're looking good. You got the giant mag tooth on your neck. Yeah. Hey, look, we all got our mag dive stuff on. I got my my gold chain and my sterling silver scuba diver hanging here. You know, we're all brothers of the sea now. Yeah, that's right. So how you doing, Gary? I'm doing good. Doing you, good. It's you recover a, from last week? Yeah, it's been a I've already been in the water since then, but mm. uh it was it was a rough it was a rough time. I mean, the seas weren't that friendly. And, right. Um, it's it's you know a lot of divers know. I mean, to do six dives in a row is tiring. The only people I did, if I remember correctly, it was Tim and only you and Ian were able to pull that off. Yeah, we were the only two. I don't I don't know. Uh, I think it's because our last name is Sailor, and we just don't get seasick or anything. I don't you know. know if just... you would have if you would actually <laughs> dove. 12 times instead of six, you probably would have found as much as me yeah, in two and, dives. and the thing is, that's so true because <laughs> I I dove the most dives, Ian and I did, and I think I found like the least amount of teeth, you know, because <laughs> I, I like KG comes up. You, you guys, if you haven't seen it yet, you have to go watch the Quick Hitter 66. Um, DiggingTV.com, just go to the Quick Hitter section. It's the very last one in the list right now, but... If you want to see what we did, it was really cool. And I've got I got a little bit of footage here. Here, might as well just show it right now. Here's a yep. here's a little bit of uh, what was going on. It's uh, we can just talk right through it. But uh, this is just some of the what it looked like. Uh, the seas were not that calm. I mean, we had not a little clear either. Yeah. I mean, you could only see about what 15, 20 feet is all. Yeah. Uh, if that, yeah. Right, and it looked like it was a uh, egg drop soup. For a while right yeah, yeah 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 there's kg and me down there yeah but <laughs> you were you were giving me the sign you found two like two teeth right there yeah yeah i kicked it but i mean you did you know. but i got the whole history of what happened and kg winning his big award and everything on the in that yeah. video it's, it's it's pretty cool it was one of our favorite 
little adventures. And there's a, when I had my best dive. I found five teeth in one dive. Is that your longest kicker, Tim, yep. that you've done so far? I don't know. Yeah, it's not. It's kind of an oxymoron. Not really a quick yeah. hitter. You know what I mean? But yeah. No, that that was that was the definite bucket lister for me. I mean, yeah. I I've had people give me Maglodon teeth. I've had you know uh, several times people giving me cool stuff like that. And I've always thought it was out of reach. But then when we ended up with Gary and Mark at the Florida Hunt 7, and Gary said, hey, I can make that happen. And then next thing you know, we're booking plane tickets to go back to Florida to find Megalodon. I, I know. Mean, it was our – love that. I know. And we've been to – what? We've been to Florida twice already this year. You know? Yeah, Everything yeah. was all shut down. And it's like, well, we'll just go to Florida then. Right. Yep. Yeah. No, that was – Gary, we got to thank you. I mean, uh, it was – outstanding i mean it was super well organized and it was just unbelievable fun you know we had a wow. really great week there That's it great. was probably one of the scariest um things i've ever done but one of the the coolest you know what i mean like yeah. without the fear it probably wouldn't have been as cool if, if it wasn't so <laughs> scary you know well it's all right. your, go ahead was that, was that your first saltwater dive First ever ocean dive. Yep. Wow. Yeah, it was. Yeah. You know, and there were so many rules like, you know, you have to go, you know, you had to go west, you had to follow your compass. And right. I don't know compasses and all that stuff. Right. And yeah. First time I followed Gary and we went out and we found a bunch of weird whale bones and stuff like that. And Gary takes a chunk out of his knee. So I made him dive alone the next time because he had blood in the water. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> exactly. And we, I, you, you can only see so far and it's just like, you know that the sharks can smell that blood from like six miles away. They're yeah. going to be coming in any minute now, you know? Yeah. And I didn't realize that until I got back on the boat that I had a big gash in the back of my leg. Yeah, and yeah. that's – I you didn't even know it. Thing. I yeah. was behind you. I was I was waiting for you on the ladder. I was just kind of floating around out there, and I saw you climb out, and I'm like, what would you do, you know? And you're like, yeah. what? You didn't even know what happened, did you? Uh, that That mm. first dive – you should have probably quit after the first dive, Gary, because not only did he tear his leg open, the but tank. his tank came unhooked from his BC, and his tank is like floating two feet above his head. No the time. way! Yeah, my mask. Yeah. Kept, I was like, "What is going on?" I couldn't. I couldn't figure it out. I was like, "Why is my mask keep jerked out of my mouth?" And not realize <laughs> my my tank's floating above me. Oh, yeah, that is unbelievable. Yeah. I I I know you said he had a. Uh, problem i didn't realize it came off completely Holy no it was cow. off and the only thing holding it to him was his his respirator in his <laughs> mouth so every time he would go forward his head would jerk sideways yeah you know and, and i was trying to fix it and stuff but there was like not a whole lot you could do uh, underwater right there. right that's uh, like you out. almost have to abort there or just go to the surface and regather yourself and drop yeah. back down because well, we weren't and, that deep you know yeah well in true gary fashion he uh he wasn't about to quit his dive until his tank was empty so he fought right. his way through it you know yeah. normally it'd be like hey, let's go fix that but he's like nah let's just keep going <laughs> that is so cool yeah. all right now gary you're on here we're gonna talk a lot more about diving and we're gonna give away some meg teeth and stuff i mean i've got a bucket of you know jerry jerry's like a pro diver right he's he's Jer yeah jerry burbaugh he's right a, he's a, constantly in the water and he got out and obviously he dives all the time he's probably got meg teeth the size of his hand or whatever but he he got done and he just threw this bag at cb and and just said here's a bunch of stuff you know and there's there's teeth in there that are like awesome you know and and so we're going to give away a bunch of fairly large teeth some of them are half teeth you know split down the middle and stuff but over the next few weeks tonight we're going to be giving them away. So yeah. and you can thank yeah, Jerry. Who don't for that. want a Megalodon tooth? I oh, mean, that's yeah. cooler than a silver dollar. It, I mean, that's so <laughs> cool. I mean, it's, what is it? Like, uh, like 2.5 to 23 million exactly. years old. I mean, and just they're, unbelievable. They're on, e they're on eBay for like hundreds of dollars. Oh, well, yeah. you saw the dive shop. You know, I, granted, yeah, these yeah. are chipped and stuff like that but if you get a perfect one and it's like i think the biggest ones are like seven and a quarter inches uh yeah. from you know the way they measure them kind of like antlers but uh if you get one of those i mean they were selling for 900 bucks you know on a chain right. and stuff so pretty pretty awesome stuff yeah yeah uh, and i used to think you know how the heck can you find a megalodon tooth i mean 
laying on the bottom of the ocean, but that gro- that ground is rock hard. And yeah, right. And then you think about it, like th- the reason there's so many is what them sharks were worth two to 10 million or 15 million. I mean, they've been losing shark their teeth for millions of years. No wonder we're yeah. finding yeah, them. Yeah. And not only sure. that, but think about how many teeth they have. It's not like us where we right, have, right. you know, somewhere between two to 32 teeth. Yeah. The one thing I liked about, uh, Captain Jamie is he, he was a good teacher. He taught a lot about, about the, the teeth and how they worked and, and the different aspects of it. Yeah. Yeah. That's a good point. Uh, even during the, when he was judging the contest, which yeah. is in the, yeah. in the video, go out and watch the quick hitter. You can, you know, like he knew which tooth was a bottom tooth and what it was and all that. It's kind of cool. And then Ed too, uh, the, the fossil guy that was on the boat with us, yeah. he's, He's dove a ton too, and he really knew what he was talking about. And it's true. And not only were there shark teeth down there, but you know, you had all those dugong ribs and whale parts. Oh, and, you that's know, nice. That that's the winner, isn't it, Cage? That's a good tooth right there. That is the winner, winner chicken dinner right there. That's yeah. a perfect. Tooth yeah. Right there. Look at that. No chips. Nothing. Love Man, it. super yeah. jealous. Yeah. But, yeah. Uh, yeah. Well, here, and while Morgan we're talking about one bigger than mine. Yeah. Well, here, I'm going to show you some of these here. Look at this. This is CB and me. We found these here, and this is what they look like underwater. Uh, you can see a couple of them are, are almost pink. They look exactly like the bottom yeah. of the, you know, their reef teeth, obviously. Reef teeth. Right. Reef yeah. Teeth. And then when you clean them up, uh, they look like this. And it's really, really cool. And we actually had somebody write in here. Here's a, you know, how do you clean those meg teeth? How did you make them look black or whatever? And it was, uh, what was it? The, uh, it it was a not white vinegar. What was the kind of vinegar we used? Apple cider vinegar. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Apple cider vinegar was the trick. I just let mine soak overnight and then, then scrubbed on them with a, like a wire brush. And man, they looked. Nobody gives a crap, Ringy. <laughs> All right. Well, so anyway, continue. I was brushing Sorry. those things off, you know, and like some of that stuff, you know how it sticks on and you really got to scrub it off. But that that apple cider vinegar took it right off and just made them beautiful and shiny. And and I was kind of thinking, well, there goes KG. We lost your video cage. I don't know what, what happened. The hell? Here. <laughs> there you are. Hang on. There, I'm back. I think it's KG. Whatever it is, Sorry. it's on KG's yeah. end. I think it's my end yeah. here. So, what's going on. So anyway, I'm cleaning all these teeth, and I'm out there just scrubbing away, and then I'm looking at CB, and I'm like, you know what? It's been probably 10 million years since this shark got his teeth brushed, you know? <laughs> yeah. I've been waiting yeah. all week to say that joke. Nobody cared. No. Yeah. Nobody. Yeah. It's kind Morgan of a dad got joke. up like the, as soon as we got home. Morgan got up and soaked hers in like the apple cider vinegar, and she had like our good butter knife style, like scraping and scratching. And she had like the like silver. chunks of barnacles, like literally all over the counter, all over the floor, everything. She you know, KJ, wait to clean her teeth up. KJ, I got to say this, man. Um, you know, I met your daughter on a couple different, two different occasions, but um, I'm so proud of her, man. The, the way she was able to rally, because remember, she was throwing up. The night before, she was throwing oh, up. She, yeah, she yeah. wasn't feeling good. She was nervous. She was first salt water night. She just got certified. I mean, a lot of factors. And she was able yep. to. Yeah, she, and she did great. She did, man. She cleaned up. Yeah, yeah. she she found a her. ton of teeth. Yeah, and I know now she, yeah, she probably found six, six teeth herself, you know. It was funny because, uh, you know, the next day, like the first day she didn't go, but the next day when we went down there, we went down, remember, and we all just kind of took off. And Morgan and I were the last ones down because we didn't want to hold anybody up. But we went down to the bottom, and then we went out, and we ended up picking up like five megalodon teeth. And then we come back. You know how we come back, and we go to the boat, and we change tanks. You know, And then we said, you know, we found so much stuff here. Let's just stay in the spot. Let's not even move the boat. So then we let all, everybody go down ahead of us again, and we get down. And I'm the last one down to the anchor. And I look, remember, Tim? Yeah, I was Not filming even you. a foot yep. away from the anchor after everybody had went down there and went out. I looked right next to the anchor. Not even a foot from the anchor. There was a megalodon tooth laying wow. right by the anchor. I couldn't and believe Tim filmed it. it. Yeah. yeah. And then, uh, uh, and then uh, this is in the video too, but I was, I, I just couldn't believe it. 
I had this old ceramic bird and on the first dive of the morning I set it down there sort of near the boat anchor but it was in like under a weed patch you know it's kind of floating back and forth in the surf and 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 then I when I came back up you know I'm I'm just kind of listening to everybody talk about their finds and nothing happened I'm like oh well that didn't work you know and then I forgot about it and we did another dive our last dive of the day and then I came back up and KG's just like oh I found this old bird statue at the bottom of the ocean you know it was just like we were laughing so yeah. hard about it, it was I mean, i'm going so cool scan in the bottom so hard for like the angles of teeth and angles of teeth. <laughs> all of a sudden i look down there and here's this freaking bird like like with a mouth like about the size of a silver dollar looking straight up with <laughs> just look at her yeah. Like, yeah i thought i found some like rare like ship artifact or something and i was so proud of that thing and then you're like yeah i put that bird down there on the first dive <laughs> Uh, it's so funny and then you know i didn't even think about this before but i i figured we'd throw it away or whatever but after after it got filmed and everything i kind of took it home with me i thought yeah i'll probably take that on a few more dives with me now you know (laughs) yeah kind of like one of those trolls that people take everywhere and take pictures of him so we gotta see if gary has anything he needs to talk about right away all right go for it gary uh, I do got uh, actually a couple things I want to talk about. This guy. Everybody knows who that is? Kind of looks like uh, Mark Hoover. That is Mark Hoover. Yeah. Is it a good buddy of ours. He was on the Meg Dive. Um, Mark is, uh, you know, he's a good friend of mine. He lives uh, up in, uh, I think, Winter Springs. Winter Springs, Winter Park. No, he actually lives in Altamont Springs. Anyway, Mark, um, I wanted to make a shout out to Mark because Mark just got notified that he was uh, a winner of American Digger Magazine's first prize of Freedom Writers Contest for his amazing story called Tragedy, Triumph, and Treasures, a story about um, those uh, escu- gold escudos that were found off the coast of uh, in Florida by Jim Tippett. Right, I right. I remember that article in, in American yep. Digger Magazine. Yeah, yeah, so Mark actually won first prize for his freelance article that he wrote. So I wanted to recognize Mark for that. Oh, that's phenomenal. Yeah. Way to go, Mark. Mark's a very talented man. You know? Yeah, he's like, he's real quiet and, uh, mm-hmm. you know, reserved scary and everything. Scary a little. Yeah, kind of scary. scary, you know. Uh, I can't say that. <laughs> but, uh, Don't say it. But you know what I'm saying. And, uh, it, but, he is. He's a man of many talents. You you would be surprised at what he's done. Oh, yeah. You know, he oh, holds yeah. Guinness Book of World Record records and mm-hmm. um, yeah, yeah. He's May, a, you know, and Mark was on the dive with us, so I'm I'm thinking Mark is the only one on the boat that didn't find a make tooth. So I'm kind of hoping Mark might win a tooth tonight. <laughs> oh, <laughs> yeah, that, cold that that is cold, but. The, the thing is, he lives right there, so you know he's going to find yeah. one eventually. Yeah. Sure. yeah. He'll be out there diving. Yeah. Absolutely. Hey. I want to shout uh, one, I got two go ahead. People. You, you go for it. You you do what you need to do, Gary. All right. There's a guy that I want to recognize, a good a friend of mine also. Um, he was supposed to be on a dive with us, but unfortunately, he got he notified that he had some illnesses, so he couldn't make it. It's this guy. This is... Uh, William Mott, we call him Brian, or he calls himself Brian. But Brian is a is a is an awesome dude. He lives in Winter Springs, also. He's a member of the CFM, CFMBC. But Brian did something really cool recently. We went to um, the group hunt at uh, this old farmhouse, and he found out that the owner, the previous owner, had lost a gold wedding band in the in a lake on the property. And remember, this is Florida. In Florida, you know, if it's a body of water, more than likely it's got alligators or snakes in oh, it. Oh, for sure. But a ring had been underwater, gold ring underwater, for about 15 years, give or take. And Brian just waded in. And within 25, 35 minutes, he pulled out this stunning gold ring with sharks all around it. Oh, actually, no way. And actually presented it to the owner, uh, who was the previous owner of the property. And... Um, you know, Brian was able to re- return that, and uh, which was an amazing gesture. You know, the guy tried to compensate Brian. Brian wouldn't take any money, but I wanted to recognize Brian for doing that. That is phenomenal. Awesome, yeah, Brian. Awesome yes. job. Yeah, very yeah. cool. There's a lot of guys like that out there that have done some amazing ring finds that are 
way more worthy of the title than yeah. I. Yeah. So I keep I, I keep expecting Gary to take a bite out of one of these. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. What are they made out of? Yeah. yeah. One more person, then we'll move on. Right. Um, there's an individual who's also in the club in CFNBC, and uh, she is recently got scuba certified. She overcame so many fears that 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 she had, you know, as a little girl about diving deep water, dark water, a lot of a lot of the uh, fears a lot of us had before we can certify. But this is Vicky. You guys might some of you guys might know Vicky. Is her last of, name start with a C H something? Yes. Vicky Chilla. Yeah, I, I know yeah. her. Yeah. Chilla. We, Vicky is also uh she's also known as Lady Luck Metal Detecting. She lives in Eustis, Florida. She is a treasurer of the CFNBC. Vicky was on the trip uh, just past this past couple of days with me and a couple other guys down in uh, Key Largo. We went on a boat. Uh, we went to a workshop, scuba wise workshop, and then afterwards we went on two two deep, kind of fairly deep dives, um, 1733 Spanish wreck dives. And Vicky went, and I am so proud of her because she was able to. It took her a while to get certified, and she was able to. You know, she did a baby steps and she had Jerry, my, my buddy, Jerry Burbaugh is a dive master. He helped her on the way. She did, uh, she gained a lot of confidence by going to some of the uh, freshwater springs of Florida, which are really clear. But she had this fear of being in, in dark water and with things below her. But Vicky went, I saw her in the water and I'm very proud of her. Awesome. Way to go, Vicky. Yeah, it's it's intimidating. You know, you just think, oh, you're going to get down there. You're going to see two miles under the water. And it's not that way. Sometimes you get down there and it's like two feet of visibility even. Right. Yeah. And generally, generally when you get to the bottom, it's better than up in the surf, especially if it's a little rough or something and stuff's been right. stirred up and all that. But, yeah, we had a couple, you know, ones that kind of spooked us once we dove in Australia and I remember there was like a red tide that had come in and there's just there's all these crazy weird jellyfish they weren't the stinging right. kind but I mean I mean they were hitting you in the face and all this and it's just like I need uh, to get down below where you know and the current was crazy and everything and then of course you when you go to somewhere like Cozumel where you just spoiled where it's like looking through the air you can see for right. seems like miles and it's just beautiful so well, Vicky's uh, watching uh, Gary. Is so she? she saw Good. all that. So yep. these three three people are friends of mine, and um, I'm very proud of each of them for doing three different things that are are just um, you know are cool, and they're good for our hobby. They're good for our uh, you know our community and what we do. So these three guys, Brian, Mark, and Vicky. Yes. <laughs> Sergeant Whitey's on there, so he obviously heard us bad mouthing him. Well, he might have just tuned in, so he probably. Oh well, I mean, saying nice things about him earlier—that's what I meant to say. Uh, yeah. So uh, uh, that being said, that's awesome, Gary. I got to talk about a couple other people. Uh, I was telling you guys before we went live that I mean, people have sent so much stuff in, and we haven't been on for a while, so I haven't had a chance to talk about it. But let me just show you a couple of these things. And well, first of all, my neighbor's moving. And they're trying to get rid of stuff, I guess, or whatever. And he came over and gave me this, which I think is awesome. Timmy! Timmy! Come on, Timmy! <laughs> so I got the whole collection of Timmy to look KG at. KG doesn't get it. I can tell by the look on his face. <laughs> South Park. What? And then well, we got... I get it, but I'm still having internet issues. So oh, you're having ahead. internet problems? Well, you we look... can hear you just fine. Yeah. Yeah. Good to see you. Good. Fine. All right. We got a note okay. here from uh, right. Digging with Dale. Got sticker in the mail. Love your show every Tuesday. Look forward to the next podcast. Thanks, Dale. You know this is going on the luggage, going on the stuff, so it can travel with us. And then uh, what else we get here? Ah, oh, found this today in the in the PO box. Uh, we got a big package. I open it up, and there's a letter in there. From Mike. Mike, I know, uh, hopefully Mike's watching. Uh, Mike Petruca, I think, is how you say his name. But check this out. It's a book about the Kirkland's Warbler. It's like the rarest warbler in North America. And it's up where he lives in Michigan. And he was like a game warden or some kind of conservation dude for a long time. And he worked on 
the, these birds got down to 400 and were about to go extinct, and they managed to save them. So it's really awesome. This is a story about it. He sent us a book about it, which he's in, I saw on one of the pages, and he got the author to autograph it to CB and me. So they wrote a nice little note in there and everything. I mean, I love it. I really appreciate that. And in the same package was a note, a, a little thing for KG only, oh, just for KG. A little what envelope here. All right. What is? Do you know what it is? I do. I opened it because I oh, didn't care about you. It. I just opened yeah, it. It wasn't yeah. really sealed. So anyway, it's a ton of these awesome hunting patches. Tons of oh, they're massive. Oh, they're yeah, really cool. Now you're talking. And, yeah, and it's like. Uh, Deer management cooperator, like when they have to thin herds, yeah, I'm pretty sure. You know yeah. what they are, Cage. I love that. There's that one. Yeah. There's a really cool one here. And then there's this massive one. Well, here's another one. That's, that's pretty cool. But I there's this them. massive one, which I wow. is kind of cool, but it's like a deer butt picture. It's <laughs> an interesting choice of angles, but heck, yeah, they're awesome. I love this one yeah, right here. I don't know. Yeah, I love that yeah. one. So I anyway, how that, many were in there that probably you didn't show. Yeah, no yeah, all the rest kept. I kept for myself. Yeah. <laughs> oh, thank you, buddy. That's awesome. Yeah, that yeah, that was awesome. Mike. Cool. He, Mike, he gave him here's the thing. It says, please give this to KG. Yeah, Mike, thank you, buddy. Thank yeah, you. and Mike also, we got an open invite in case we want to actually see one of those Kirtland's warblers. We get to actually go and see one, so... Might have to take him up on that one of these days. If I'm ever back in Iowa and, you know, I'll just yep. make my way up that way. Pretty exciting, right, Cage? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, really exciting. All right. Hey, uh, I think Gary has a plan uh, for uh, a giveaway. Oh, we got to give away the whole away, Meg package. Aaron. We yeah, promise. Yeah, we got to yeah. get that going now so we can kind of keep an eye on it. You guys good. figure it out. I'm, You're in control of this. Uh, Gary's got it. Gary's got it. Okay. All right, you guys take over. Uh, I'm going to go... Refresh my, uh, my average refreshment. All right. So what we're going to do is uh, we're going to give away a uh, the very last. This is an exclusive shirt. We only made 12 of these. This is the 12th one. And um, basically it says uh, Anaconda Treasure Company, Megalodon Shark Tooth Dive, and it's got a diver flag on it. So that's part of the package. I'm also giving away a numbered print from a uh, piece of art one of the the only actual uh art i ever created which is uh actually shows the dive boat we were on and some divers and there's a megalodon in the background so we give away That's one of those awesome. yeah plus we have a, a few other things you know we got a clicker which is something that we took underwater and uh we uh a bunch of other things that i'm gonna throw in there plus a partial um meg tooth so what we're gonna do is uh Hey, hey, CB. You taking over? Can't hear. No, I can't hear. <laughs> so I'll just press on. So what we're going to do is we're going to give that away. And uh, I'm going to ask a question. And if you're a true fan of, Hi, you know, hey, hey anything girl. Exciting? We're exciting. getting ready to give away. Uh, yeah, Gary's happy. giving a package away right now. Yeah. So, so what do you got, Gary? So basically, um, Real fans of KG and Ring ain't going to know this. And this has to do with the last time we were together. If you watch the video that we, the Meg Dive video that we just had posted, uh, quick hitter number 66, in that video, um, and there's certain people who are not eligible for this, like Mark Hoover, anybody who's actually on the dive is not available. Anybody who was on the, the previous uh, trip that I'm going to mention, is not eligible. We'll discuss that. But anyway, in the video, three or four people, including CB, mentioned to KG that he went, when he won the plaque for the best Meg tooth, that he went from worst to first. KG won that plaque right there. And Tim said it, CB said it, I think uh, Mark said it, Mark Hoover said it. But hey, KG, you went from worst to first. What are we talking about when we say that KG you went from worst to first? Who who remembers? Yeah. What we're so if you remember or if you know what we're talking about, go ahead and make a comment. And I'm watching. And whoever made mentions the right words, um, is going to win that Meg Meg uh, package. So what does he mean when 
What does everybody mean when it said KG went from worst to first? Worst anybody? to first. Yep. Now, if nobody knows, oh, if nobody knows, then we're going to go ahead and pick a number. But I'm going to give some, a real fan an opportunity to win that um, that Meg memorabilia package. So what do you mean by worst to first? Very cool. I think I just saw it. Yes, Mike Petruca. I'm going to go ahead and call him for Mike Petruca. He says the previous fishing contest. Oh, there's a lot of them. Yeah. Yeah. Is he the first one who uh, said it? Is yeah, Michelle one? Wolf said it. Bass fishing. Uh, oh, it smallest tooth. That wasn't it. No. So I think Mike All Petruca. Right. If, if we're going to somebody... double check. We're going to double check. But right now, I think Mike Petruca was the first. But basically, when we went on the first uh, trip, it was a bass fishing tournament. And KG, you know, KG's made the cover of Bass Bass magazines and all kinds of world class magazines and world class fishermen, and he had his worst day ever, and so he won. Oh, he was he on won the a cover of magazine. Yeah. Yep. 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 And so you won a plaque that said "Worst Fisherman." Yep, the worst fisherman because all I caught was like one little tiny bass. Of course, I had some very tough odds stacked against me, but you know. I was definitely the worst fisherman there. I ended up catching a witch hanging off of a boat ramp, remember? And then I yeah. snagged a whole boat ramp on the roof. Remember that? that yeah, you lost your lure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So yeah, worst the yeah. first. So and then so from you know winning this uh, Meg uh, Golden Meg Award, which is the first place you went from worst to first. So we'll look at it, and if um, if whoever was the first one to say it, we'll, we'll go ahead and send that package off. So I'll, George, I'll contact you. Since, since you won the Meg Tooth Dive Award, are you going to get like a Meg Tooth tattoo? I might. I might get a whole Meglet on my back. Awesome. My back. And with its mouth open, like it's going to swallow my head. <laughs> Perfect. Everybody was giving me a bad time before I went Megalodon diving because everybody knows I'm slightly balding. And uh, this guy I was fishing with, he said, you know, you're going to get down there. You better get some sun on that head because... Them sharks are going to think that that's a giant lure flashing around at the bottom of the ocean and they're going to come and right. eat you. Right, so, or barracuda. Yeah, rude, rude people, you know, but. <laughs> hey, CB, you know. pull your microphone in closer. Okay. There you Better. go. That a girl. Awesome. There we are. Okay. Yeah. I'm, not, I'm all new to this. See, Tim took off and so I had to take Ooh. over. Did you send him to 7 Eleven? Do we have a 7 Eleven? <laughs> Is that where he went? Where'd he Maybe. go? Maybe he went to the kitchen, actually. Uh, Get himself the a snack. Kitchen. He probably spends most of his time in the kitchen. Eating pie. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> no. Nope. So while Tim's, while Tim's gone, let's talk a couple. Or here he comes back. Oh, well, pretend he's not there. Yeah. What okay. do you want to talk about? You want to talk about well, what I found? Yeah, what did you find? I find? <laughs> did you, you found I found horse teeth. I've oh, I forgot about teeth. that. Yeah. Oh, that is cool. Some yeah, little, I remember that. Whale ear bones, you know, and a toe. Yeah. Well, found a horse and, toe. And I found this. It's a massive uh, turtle shell. Oh, it's awesome. a, a fossilized turtle shell. You can see the little squares in it and stuff like that. I got so many weird things. I have no clue even what they are. Yeah. And every time Morgan went down, I ended up with I would I should have had two bags for her stuff. <laughs> Mm. giant giant bags just to put it all in <laughs> yeah i was researching i guess you could find like fossilized barbs off of stingrays and all kinds of weird stuff down there so we'll have to go again definitely 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 it was a great time you know uh when we met at daryl's for uh for dinner the night before just hanging out the the uh, everybody was really nervous and um kind of stressing out a little bit but it, it, it ended up working out really good yeah yeah that was good it was a good icebreaker to go in there yeah and uh you know jamie captain jamie he was such a good uh he's such a good charter captain if you guys if anybody lives in the florida area or uh surrounding states or just wants to come down to florida if you look up uh aristocat.com that's a-r-i-s-t-a-k-a-t aristocat.com uh, he has an online calendar and you can, you can schedule yourself. And uh, he's an amazing captain. He's a great teacher. He knows every, he's born and raised in Venice, Florida. He knows the area. Um, and he treated us uh, really good. He came to the, the dinner the night before he taught us all everything we need to know. He took really good care of us. So I highly recommend 
that if you want to get this bucket list adventure under your belt, contact Captain Jamie at aristocat.com. Yeah, exactly. And Tim has, I believe, a picture and stuff. We'll throw that up, oh, a uh, picture of the thing. And uh, But no, I mean, he was, he was definitely a great captain. And, you know, a lot of people out there have been asking me, you know, how do I do something like this? How can I go on a Megalodon dive? You know, they never even, a lot of people never knew it even existed. Yeah, you can go online, right, with him? Is that right, Gary? Yeah, yeah, you can go online. He has his website. Cool. Very cool. Yeah, I'm going to do it again. Morgan's already bugging me about going again. And I think she wants to go to Cozumel next year with uh, Carlotta and Tim and all yeah. of us, too. Well, let's so. go. We should do Christmas in Cozumel. Yeah, yeah, maybe we will. I think we should look into that for sure. Yeah. All right, here, here's Tim. <laughs> Thanks for letting me interrupt the uh, little podcast. Yeah, no biggie. We like yeah. this is way better anyway. <laughs> yeah, I really had a great time with you guys in, in Florida. So I look forward hey, to hey, more C- CB? Yeah. Well, we got you on. Let me ask you a question. Sure. I didn't do it. Did Tim do it? He might have. Is did tortilla? <laughs> what is he? Did tortilla <laughs> Tim? Put those tortilla shells on our doorknobs. I don't know anything about tortilla shells. Usually Tim hoards and eats those. So I, I don't know why he would have left one on your doorknob. Yeah. It's a mystery. Well, <laughs> it's a mystery. We might have to investigate it further. Well, wait a minute. Was it a was it a paleo tortilla? No, it was regular. Oh, well, That's why he didn't eat it. He didn't maybe. want to dump it. Right. Yeah. So, so what, what happened is our doorknobs were somebody punched a hole in a tortilla shell and hung these these yeah tortilla shells <laughs> yeah i guess there were soft fit. shells soft also shell, yeah. wouldn't fit on the doorknob yeah but we're thinking tim did that because i don't know he's pretty guilty look at him back there he's he's totally guilty <laughs> did you see he's wearing his little dive buddy thing did you see that <laughs> did see it yeah mm-hmm. oh and we're giving away some some stickers tonight see and i already put this on the back of my truck i've got one Awesome. We're going to put some stickers. What else? What else is in the giveaway box? Oh, we, got we got lots of stuff. Teeth. There's going to be some Meg teeth, some miscellaneous surprises, I'm sure. Okay. <laughs> broken Meg tooth. Probably broke it off on a turtle shell. <laughs> on the turtle shell? It, yeah, it, that's a good look for me. The turtle <laughs> shell you found should have a Meg tooth like sticking in it, right? Yes, that's what I might have to have. I might have to have Gary fabricate me something like that. Oh, did Megalodons, did they eat horses? Did we make like, uh, a horse getting know. eaten by Megalodons? Oh, kitty, there's my boy. My sweetie. He's been a very bad boy. He had to wear a harness today. Yikes. <laughs> All right, I'll let Tim take over. Thanks All for right. letting me pop in and say hi. Miss you guys. Bye, Bye you. Baby. I love that color of the tooth on your neck. Oh, this is my brownie. This is uh, one of the first. This is the second tooth I ever second tooth I ever found. It's called a brownie. It's got a brown top, and it's the it's small, but the quality is just is just dead on. Captain Jamie says it's um, kind of a high is a highly desirable color. The blondie. Yeah, blondie. Blondies. You are. All right. The the only I've only found six in my entire life, obviously, but my very first Meg tooth was a blondie. Huh. What's funny is that this tooth right here is millions of years old, and I could literally, I could cut you with this, Tim. Oh, yeah. It's still, all the serrations are still on there. Still Why there. me? It's... Why do you choose me to cut? Why not KG? I don't know. I could, cut him with, I could cut him on one side, and you could cut him on the other, Gary. <laughs> he yeah, can this... only cut us with, with half of his because he only found a half. No, that's not true. I got serrations on both sides. It's just the little gum part missing on this side of this big big boy do you remember what captain jamie called that this yeah uh, a piece of garbage i don't know no he it, it said it's called a heartbreaker oh a heartbreaker right yeah because yeah. it was so yeah. close to being perfect perfect tooth except there's a piece missing he said it was a heartbreaker that yeah. the actual the this is the first one this blondie kind of one and it would have been the biggest one I found had it been complete, but obviously both sides are missing, but it's still sharp too, amazingly. You know, it's and just. An, an, yeah. yeah. Another thing that people can find, they don't probably realize this, but as you're looking for megalodon teeth, there is thousands and thousands of stuff like this down there. This is probably a whale, an old whale bone. Right. There's turtle, fossilized turtle shells. There's 
what are them weird the dugongs, dugongs the dugong dugongs. ribs they're yeah. like old ancient manatees or whatever i think there's still a dugong that lives today somewhere but Sorry. that's me uh anyway they're you know they have giant like the rib cages I, I mean i don't know if you can tell how big this is but it's a solid rib bone wow. it would have been a monster you know it's as big as my yeah. fist um it's just monstrous and the thing is i was reading about them and apparently these megalodons like all the other sharks could tear away at these whales and stuff you know and they're chewing on the carcasses and stuff but the megalodon was the only thing that could get to the heart and stuff inside the rib cage because it was so big it would just crush the whole thing you know amazingly and that's why you get all these little chunks of rib bone is that because they were bigger than the other sharks yes kg that is correct uh, thank okay. you for your input Good. <laughs> yeah Tim, do you have one of those graphics that show what it looked like in the water? With the uh, I know it's in the yeah. it's in the video. I didn't. Yeah, it's I didn't cool. put it up here. But you know, we were taught uh, here. Are, let me just go through a couple of these. Uh, bing, bing. There we go. Uh, there's these are my teeth, um, and then here I heard Carlotta talking about over on the far right to the viewers. Uh, there's a, that's a, a three toed horse tooth that is now extinct, which is crazy. And there's like a metal tarsal up there at the top that wow. little bone. I mean, it's some cool stuff. And then, uh, you can just to get a size picture, you know, that's like a five inch tooth or so just ridiculously big. And, you know, you used to find in those little shark teeth on the on the beach, and then you find something like this. It's like, holy yeah. cow. That's true. Yeah. That's, that's cool. But, uh, yeah. And then here's obviously what they look like before they were cleaned. So. You know. Yeah, that's why they're so hard to see on the bottom sometimes because they're right. like that white one there. I mean, you can't. It blends in yeah. with everything. If you're yeah. not looking for the edge, like a triangle, I right. mean, a lot of them. Like that one I found, it was literally in a crack, that absolute perfect one I found. It was down in a crack. And the only way you could see it is if, if you could you could just see the outline of that V. Right. You know? Right. That was, exactly. That was the winning the winning tooth, by the way. That was the winning tooth, yeah. Beautiful. And then I also heard you guys talking about this too. What? I mean, and I did not do this. You're lying. Tim. I did not do that. I didn't even I didn't even know where it came from. I didn't eat tacos. I didn't have yeah. any kind of Mexican food while well, I was in Florida. I, it's obviously hadn't been like had meat or anything on it yet. So I'm thinking maybe you brought it with you. I, I didn't bring it. I, I swear I, I did on my not door. do that. Oh, okay, that means KG it had to be you. I had it on one on my door. Yeah, you put it on there. <laughs> <laughs> what about Mark? Mark was there. No, I Ian. don't know, man. I, Ian, I maybe I, he put E. I would have fessed up by now. I, I, yeah, man. It. Wow, that was good, KG. You had me go until now. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. <laughs> Lion sack. Yeah. <laughs> wow, you got away with it. <laughs> All right. And okay, I, what I, next? I it's heard you both from pulling miniature pennies and, and nickels and dimes. Oh, yeah. I don't have that up here. That's in the quick hitter, too. It's just, I mean, I got home and everywhere. I was looking, I'm like dumping my suitcase out, and there's like little tiny miniature pennies and dimes and nickels bouncing off the ground. I'm like, where did this come from? Yep. Yeah. Hey, did you uh, get a picture, throw a picture of the Aristocat boat up there again? Because Gary was telling people about how to book a trip, and then they oh, could yeah. uh, aristocat.com. Uh, oh so yeah, this is Megalodon diving too. That's the boat we were on. Yeah, yeah, that yeah. was just a blast. Yeah, you just go to Aristocat.com and yeah, and look at note the spelling, obviously, and then it uh, looks it looks small, but that's a twenty eight foot pro cat catamaran. Oh yeah, I mean that's it was yeah. an enormous dive boat. I mean, obviously yeah, you're got, on the ocean, but it's got twin two fifty Hondas on it. He had the big flying bridge up on top, which you guys were up there. Right, yep, right, yep. yeah, the that Gilligan's was awesome. Island video. That's right, right, <laughs> exactly. Hey, yeah. uh, while we're at it, hey, I'm gonna, I'm taking over right now for a second. I'm gonna show some of the friends of this podcast. Obviously, we're just talking about the Aristocat. Uh, if you're interested in diving for Meg Teeth, you can see their logo right there in the center. 
Um, and then we've got Gary's down there too. But also the guy that helped me get prepared and got me certified with Epic Dive Charters. It's out of Phoenix. They go all over the world doing crazy, awesome dives and stuff too. Um, and then SPE Systems, thanks to them, they're a local uh, Prescott Valley plumbing, heating, electric, all that. Uh, they're going to help us give away an Apex on the show coming up. So thanks to them. It's awesome. You know, they're an awesome company because, you know, whenever they install electric stuff, they use 220 or 221, whatever it takes, you know. Yeah. So that's 982. <laughs> <laughs> or 11 teen. Need some yeah. 11 teen Sometimes they do. They go, they go all the way to 11 teen. <laughs> oh, wh- wh- one more shout out, Tim. Okay. The fine women and the very helpful women at Sea Pleasures, Sea Treasures and Pleasures. Yes, mm-hmm. yes, yeah, Sea Treasures oh. and Pleasures. That's I, it. Yeah. I, I actually, I think it might be Sea Pleasures and Treasures. Okay, either one. But those guys mm-hmm. are in Venice, and that's where we got these these awesome yeah. uh, little dive things. I don't have yeah. the graphic, but they're you know it's a little scuba diver made out of sterling yeah. silver. But they have mag teeth. They have. Anything yeah. you can imagine, just kind of a cool shop. So if you're in Venice, yeah. Florida, and you want, you know, need a T-shirt or anything, you know, go see, Ju- go see Julie. Yeah, go see Julie. Julie, it, it took good care of us. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And then, and then oh, go ahead, Cage. So, oh, I'm just gonna say, uh, <laughs> <laughs> you know, we try we try to do this podcast, you know, every week when we can, but you know, we're busy. We got a lot going on. And obviously, we haven't been on for three weeks, so we <laughs> appreciate you guys logging back on and watching uh, some of our antics. But uh, I don't know that we're going to be on for another couple of weeks because we have more stuff going on coming up. Right. But, uh, so we're going to have to give twice as much away now. Oh, we're going to have to give away all kinds of stuff. Yeah, we're going to. In fact, you guys decided how to give away Gary's Meg Tooth prize package right yeah, we got that covered you got that yeah. all covered well um kg why don't you pick a number between one and some number and we'll give away another meg tooth prize right here for the show plus we're going to give away a meg tooth and some other a whole nother prize package for the uh quick hitter 66 you know the keyword is megalodon you guys know the rules. You've done it before. Just go out there on the YouTube video and leave any kind of comment with the word Megalodon in it, and you're automatically entered. And And you can do the same for uh, uh, to be entered twice for the same contest. You can just go on the original uh, contest post. It's on our Digging with KG and Ringy Facebook page. Just go there. Leave a comment with the word Megalodon in it. You're going to win there. So we're going to have – we'll have a, a Gary's Prize. You covered that tonight. We'll yeah. have the quick hitter prize, and we'll have one we'll just do right now. We'll do a number thing. KG, you got to pick the top number as usual. Yep, yep. We're going to keep it, you know, we're going to keep it the same. So we're going to do between 1 and 69. Oh, two it's two a numbers. beautiful pick. Yes, awesome. Yeah, okay. two numbers per person. Two numbers per two person. Two number limit per person. Yeah, you yeah. put them in the and same then, comment if you want, whatever yeah. you want to do. And if we don't see it, obviously, until later, because it's hard to keep track of all these as we're doing yeah, the we'll, podcast, we always we'll notify you and get your information. And, and oh, and the out. numbers are coming in already. Awesome. Yeah, no, <laughs> thank you guys for tuning in. Uh, we will, we're going to have another break because we're going to be doing some hunts in Montana and we're going to be doing a little bit more traveling and stuff. So, uh, yeah, we have a, we're going to be do a, bit, blah, 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 do a big thing in Montana. We're going to film with some of the original. ATC members. Yeah, bones we got to get T-O. bones and TO. Yeah, yeah. Oh, it's going to be great. Yeah, it'll nice. be fun. Yeah. And but yeah. we do Howie Wigert, you know, he's like a master. Um he's kind of like Gary with research. He's it's yeah. about things. Yeah. So he will obsess about a spot and he'll get us some good spots lined up. So we'll have nice. some good times. But yep. Ridiculous. I got a couple I got a couple events coming up like to, you know, talk about real, real yeah, fast. Yeah. Yeah. Um, in October, there's a bunch of us in Florida. Mark, I know Mark's going. Dave Siler's going. Uh, a bunch of other people are going to the Kadoha Treasure Fest 3. Ah. That's a hunt put on by Brandon Sutton and Arkansas History Unearthed. That's 23, 24 October. And that's in Murfreesboro, Arkansas. Nice. And it's going to be an amazing event. That's real close to the Diamond Crater Mine. So we'll be able to go over and actually dig for 
uh, diamonds. Which oh, yeah. Nice. You know, every once in a while, people pull one out of there, you know? Yeah, exactly. The other event coming up uh, around the corner is Greg Papalo's Florida Hunt 8, which is I'm a huge fan and a huge supporter of Florida Hunt 8. That's going to be in Melrose, Florida. Um, for the wounded vets, 18 October, 18, 20 October. Um, Greg's got a lot of good things planned, including some seated hunts, some um, big prize tokens, and a couple hundred new acres of, uh, of fresh undug land. So that's yeah. yet this year in October. Uh, no, that one is in, I'm sorry, that is. That's in February of next February year. of next oh, year. Oh, okay. So it's more like an annual event. FH right. cuz cuz we did FH7 what in February right. just February this year February 18th it's next year February 18th oh, yeah gotcha. thank you. okay yeah. thank you Katie. yeah yeah because he was contacting us cuz he wants us to be there and I said we're going to have to start bugging uh, Garrett now to get us out there and and get everything rolling so yeah 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 awesome. that sounds good yeah we'll get that same B&B with the pool table Oh, I always remember I, I, we need to spend yeah, more time be there because they had a pool table. We never really got to fully, you the know, dock. exploit that place, you know? Uh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. We got to wish our buddy Lance. Hopefully it gets better. Supposedly. Yeah, yeah. Lance. Sick from the COVID. Yeah, Lance we sent pants. you some. We love you. We did. We, we sent you, some not so nice texts earlier in the day, but we want to apologize for that right now and say we wish you all the best. We do. Yes, we do. Yep. So that anyway, being said, that was a sad moment. Oh, I, was, I almost teared stupid. up right there. Almost started yeah. crying. That's my buddy Lance. Now. Yeah. I yeah. now let me look at this. I, I you know I got to look at my notes here. I know I didn't have any kind of write up for Gary. He's been on the show already. I didn't need that, but I just gotta check this out. Make sure I'm not leaving anything out. I appreciate you having me back a second time. Heck yeah. yeah. Yeah, well, I mean, it had to be done, really, because, I mean, think about it. We were just all in Florida together, had one of the greatest adventures ever. Just mm -hmm. had to be done, Gary. Oh, I know what I was going to say. Uh, wow. When we, we had Butch Holcomb lined up and we were about to do a show, and I had everything geared up, and uh, and he called and said his internet was out <laughs> that last time. I mean, anybody that tuned in is obviously aware of that. But uh, we did get them rescheduled, so if you go to the event schedule at diggintv.com, just go to the event schedule, you'll see he's been penciled back in. I think it's at the end of July or something. So we are going to get Butch back on, and we'll get to talk about American Digger and all that kind of stuff. Yeah, so. we always get him to give away something cool, too. Oh, yeah, we'll get him so. to give away something good, and by then we'll have the details on us giving away an Apex. So, yeah, there's a lot of good stuff coming down the pike. Okay, cool. All right. Oh, well, I don't even know. Have we been on for an hour? Uh, we got uh, one more minute, but who cares? We do what we want. Uh, yeah, one more minute. Yeah. So anything else you guys want to talk about? I mean, hey, hey let me just talk hey, about did. one more thing real quick. And this is just kind of kind of awesome. Uh, when we were in Florida, we did get to see some weird, crazy birds like this uh this thing, it's like a baby green heron. Here's a limpkin. <laughs> I'm doing this on purpose because oh, there's a tricolored he heron. Oh, he is, he is. <laughs> there's a spoonbill. Yeah. But that, I, I that, that being see said, the audience, yeah, the, the audience, the audience dropping off. There dropping you go. Like now we're back into oh, fishing. Look at the beautiful go. fish. Oh, yes, me and my go. girls got to go peacock bass fishing in Florida. This is about yeah. a day before. We did the Megalodon dive. So I, I got two bucket listers in Florida this year. Next year, I have to go after tarpon. That's what I'm doing. Yeah, yeah. Jojo, it, Jojo and them guys, you know, the greenies, awesome, awesome people, awesome family. And next year, we're going to hook up with them, Tim, and do some stuff. Yeah, that was fantastic. I kind of wish I would have had time to uh, – they invited me out to go somewhere. My parents came down and uh, – uh, we, we had so much going on, and then I went to Universal Studios with Ian and stuff, and we just had so much going on. We couldn't get over the, to do that. But I, I love the fact that <laughs> that this birding thing has, like, completely polarized our audience. There's people on here just going, no more birds, none, yeah. you know, and then there's people like, yeah, I like birds. Show some more pictures. That's, like, completely polarized. I love it. Hey, well, it's funny because you post a picture of – 
these UFC fighters laughing at a fight, and it's like old guys that are seeing a rare yeah, bird or something. Yeah. And I'm saying, like, I'm thinking in my mind, how can you even use UFC fighting and bird watching in the it's same thing? the same thing. thing. It's just a, yeah, yeah no. it was some meme I saw on there. But no, hey, no. let me show you this real quick, too. Here's me and Ian on the Velocicoaster. <laughs> That thing went from like zero to seventy in no time. I mean, like seconds. It was it was so unbelievable. It was only open to like a week, you know. And we went there, and and got on that thing, and it was it was unbelievable. And I I you know how you go up to a roller coaster because we've ridden a lot, and you go up to them and you, you see them they just take off and stuff. And we got up there and we're looking at it and it just kind of rolls off into nowhere casually you know and we're like oh that's not bad at all you know no big deal but what happens is you get in it and then it just rolls off into this room and it's like a from the movie or whatever and it's a kind of a tunnel room and on either side there's like dinosaurs trying to get out of these cages at you like full-size live <laughs> dinosaurs and stuff and then the red lights go off and you can hear like this these engines building up and stuff and and you're just like I, you know, you're just thinking I should have never got on this thing. And sure enough, it just explodes out of nowhere. And suddenly you're just going 70 miles an hour upside down. It's just unbelievable. So that was pretty cool. Like a car wreck, but controlled. <laughs> exactly. And then right in the middle of it, you're, you're doing all this stuff and you've been upside down and all that. And you're just kind of like going along and you're just like, oh, you catch your breath for two seconds. And all of a sudden, like the G force, you, like I, I forget what it is, 2.4 seconds. And you go right back up to 70 miles an hour because there's none of that click, 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 click up the hill. It just shoots you up the hill with wow. force. I mean, you're going so fast. You're just like your eyes are water. And then you get to the top and it does one of those zero gravity stalls. And you just like, oh, and you're just like a million miles above the earth and you just drop suddenly like inverted. It was just awesome. I don't know. It was cool. Jesus. Went <laughs> Jeez, with that one, Gary probably about fell asleep. <laughs> All right. I'm done. Uh, what do you guys want to do? You want to send it out? You are you, are you done I mean, talking? I'm good. I mean, I'm good. I just like, uh, want to thank everybody again for watching Mark. He's always like uncle Mark now and uncle Gary. Yeah. They, you know, become pretty good buddies with us. So we appreciate them too. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. And thanks Jerry and, and Dave Seiler was awesome yes, on the dives yes, too. Yeah, Dave yeah, dove was. with Ian a bunch of times. It was Captain really Jamie. cool. Captain Jamie. And was it Claudia? Was that her name? Claudia, she did yeah. a great job on the Claudia. boat too. Yeah. yeah. Awesome. So if you want to see all, right. all about it, go check it out on uh, diggingtv.com. Diggingtv.com. Yeah. Awesome. Go there, subscribe, and we're always giving away stuff. And we're going to be giving away a ton of stuff, too, coming up, like metal detectors and whatnot. And a lot of people donate stuff, and we appreciate that. So if you want to donate something, we'll put your name on it, and we'll give it away. Heck, cool. yeah. Hey, All thanks, right, Gary. All right. You're Thank welcome, you, Gary. Thanks for, thanks for having me. You bet. Yep. Give we're out of here. The family, uh, give the family a hug for us. All right. See you, All right, guys. See you later. Here we go. Bye, guys. Thank you, everybody. That's it for this week. Thanks for watching the Running and Gunning Podcast Show, brought to you by Garrett Metal Detectors and ATC's NX5 Digging Tools. Check the ATC event calendar at anacondatreasure.com for showtimes, and tune in again for another extraordinary program packed with brilliance, insight, and fascinating guests. Wait a minute, am I still talking about this show? Anyway, may silver and gold find its way into your pans and under your coils this week. Nectar in the pot for everybody. KG and Ringy out.